Good morning to you all and welcome to another video. And today, I'm not on Lake Erie. I'm somewhere completely different. I've come to a place I've never been before, never ever been on this lake, never been to this area. Well, I have, I've been past it, but um, we're in Muskoka country. We're in um, Gravenhurst, which is the gateway to Muskoka Lakes. And that's exactly where we are right now. We're just at the boat ramp here at Muskoka. I'm riding today with Woody. Woody's uh, just putting his GTX 230 in. I'm also with Carl and Kim, who I've traveled with uh, back at the beginning of the summer. You may remember from one of my other videos when we did Crystal Beach and also uh, Jordan Harbor. So we're just getting our gear together and then we're gonna head out on the water and uh, explore uh, Lake Muskoka and hopefully make our way up to Muskoka Falls. So uh, hopefully today will be a good day. Warm, cold? Nah, it's kind of nice. It's okay. Refreshing? Yeah, refreshing. All right. Now, this is a nice place. So, this is where we parked. Just here, the three of us. A few other things. Now, from what we know of, it's free. Not many places are free at Muskoka. So, we, uh, we just put in a GPS, thanks to Mark Forrest. He told us about this place. Uh, the Marriott Hotel here at Gravenhurst. And just launch from here. And just park over here, and it's free. We don't see any signs saying otherwise. So off we go, onto the water. I was just moving you down, dude, because this guy was coming in. All right, I got it. You got it? Yeah, I got it, thanks. Right. Got ourselves prepared over here. Ahead. So today, joining us on our adventure, we have Kyle. Yep, there we go. Woody. Yep. Thank you. Um, my nephew Joe from England, coming for the ride. Checking out the other parts of Ontario. All right, let the fun begin. We have no idea where we're going. Uh, we're just on Lake Muskoka. We're gonna go out and see what we can find, have an adventure and uh, enjoy the day. The usual thing, gotta try and find a lighthouse. I always gotta try and find a lighthouse when I'm out and about and uh, any kind of cool bridges and uh, yeah. Good, we're all good, yep. water as well. Lake Muskoka! Muskoka. It's beautiful out here. Nice big open lake, beautiful day. It's forecast at 30 degrees today, clear skies with a humidity into the 40s. There's one little lighthouse. Not really a lighthouse, it's a guiding light to the channel, I guess. or two on each island. That's nice. I 
As you ride along, there's just so many islands. But at the same time as looking for the islands, you've got to keep an eye out on the map for shallow uh, water. Uh, currently, we're at 165 foot of water, and they just randomly just dropped to like five feet. Some lovely houses out here as well. You got small ones and massive mansions at the same time. Okay, we've just gone from 160 feet to 50 feet. <laughs> right, just put in the uh, system. We're going to try and head up to uh, uh, Port Carling. I believe that's on the other side of the lock system. I was having a hard time trying to figure out my navigational system here. Um, but yeah, we've got Port Carling in. And I believe that's where uh, Muskoka Falls must be in that area. Or well, we hope it is anyway. So anyway, we're heading north. All these wealthy people live up here and us peasants are riding along on their water. Behind me, okay. Oh, Woody's pointing to that house. Look at that. Spectacular. I got this guy out of his wake. There we go. Multi million dollar homes all along here. All the kids. <laughs> All the kids just by the dock there, lounging. You see? <laughs> Hang on, is it yoga? It's yoga, isn't it? Yeah, we're all doing yoga. I feel so poor riding up here. I'll be happy with just a little shed like that. Oh, sorry. It's not a shed, though, is it? It's just a place to store your boats. We're just uh, making our way into uh, Lake Rosso. Russo? Rosso? Rosso. Lake Rosso Mirror Lake. It's got to be two lakes though. That's what the GPS says anyway. It says Lake Rosso Mirror Lake. Is it all one lake? I don't know. Anyway, we just, it's just a small little lake as we make our way into another small estuary further up. I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but Woody looks like he's actually doing some surveying work. He's got his orange like arm sleeve from his vet, uh, from his, uh, from his top, but he looks like a surveyor with a big pole in the air. <laughs> so either that or he's looking for a satellite signal. People on the little jetties over there. A lot of people are now starting to wake up and get out. Uh, more kayakers are out, a couple of ladies there. Probably just finished kayaking. Nice boat coming through. Okay. Nice. I've actually proper been to Muskoka. Um, I've been to Parry Sound and uh, Algonquin, but I don't think I've actually ever been to Muskoka and traveled around it, so this is kind of neat. Uh, this really is the playground for the GTA, so the people of the Greater Toronto area, this is where they all come for the weekend, for the week. Many rent cottages, many own cottages. When I say cottages though, they're more like mansions. Um, yeah, second homes and so on. But it's absolutely stunning up here, it really is. Right, just check the map on there and also with my phone to on the safe side. But yeah, we are heading to Port Carling. We're not far away actually, we're just around the corner from it. So I presume there's a lock to get us up into Lake Rosso. So that body of water back there, I'm not too sure whether it was Lake Rosso or Lake Rosso uh, Mirror Lake. It's on my GPS map on the Garmin, it named both of them. But I think that must have been uh, Mirror Lake and now we're going to transition into the other one. So uh, make our way around this little channel and uh, head into Port Carling and have a ride up uh, Lake Rosso. All right, I wasn't expecting that when I just came around this corner. It's like a little town down here. Uh, I'll show you as we get a bit closer. 
because I'm now just a bit away from the bend, but as I came around the bend, it really looks like a little town. So this is actually Port Carling. Uh, Turtle Jack's on the waterfront over there. Uh, Duke's over there. Look at that, check it out. Welcome to Port Carling. Nice steamboat on there. It's really cool. So, oh yeah, you're right, it is. A picture made of photos. Each one of those is a photograph. Yeah, I can see a guy's face at the very top. That is really cool. Why one of the rules? No smoking while locking through, blah, blah, blah. Uh, end of end of prepare fenders with tie lines. I think we just hold on to it and hope for the best. What a quaint little place this is. Love it, super nice. Okay, she's gotta try and get that a pontoon boat close to the wall. We'll just wait here. Just wait back, Woody. <laughs> oh. Do some fishing while you're in the lock, you never know, you might catch nothing. Okay, thanks very much. So you have an 18, uh, 25 for a day pass through the lock system. Mind you, the big lock we did in Buffalo was free and that was a huge lock, massive. Right, there we have it, the lock doors are opening up. Uh, we've just risen about three and a half foot, about three feet to trans, uh, transverse into this next body of water, which we believe is Lake Rosso. So uh, the adventure continues. And we're ready. Oh my god, that is awesome. Hell oh yeah. It's a low down boat. And that one too. It looks like a gingerbread house. Look at this. It's even got icing on the roof. Is it meant to be a gingerbread house? Oh yeah, look, there's another one. It, it, I think it is designed like that, like a gingerbread house. I like that. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm going to say gingerbread house for sure. Do you think gingerbread? Leave a comment below if you think that's a gingerbread house or not. And they, uh, so, I think it is. That's cool. Yeah, because the house up above has got the white lines, but they don't have a white roof for the icing. Unless someone lick the icing off. Oh yeah, there he goes. And we have lift off. Okay, um, cue the drone shots. your pilot's license and just have a little plane like that to come up here for the weekend it's really cool i like that that's really cool Disappointing. I was expecting a nice falls. I mean, a bit like Moon River. Uh, I don't even see any water coming down this.
Just a steady trickle. Can I get in there though? Oh. All right. It's kind of cute. So uh, yeah, that's the uh, Rosso Falls. Uh, trickle Falls, we'll rename it Trickle Falls. It does look pretty. I'm sure when it's uh, raining, it gushes down pretty fast uh, when the snow melts. But as of right now, there's not much there. Well, that was kind of uneventful, that uh, waterfall, uh, falls. But I hope you enjoyed the drone shot. Um, it, it looks like it could be good, that place, if there's a lot, a lot more water flowing off it. So anyway, uh, we'll look at the map and see where else we can go. I just going to head up here. <coughs> I believe the town of Rosso is up here. So we're just going to check that out. <coughs> and then uh, turn around, head back down to Port Carling on the other side of the lake. We'll go down on the uh, west side. We came up on the east side, we'll go down on the west. No trip is complete without a lighthouse. And I have found my lighthouse for the day. I guess it kind of counts as a lighthouse. It's got a light on it and it's kind of like a house structure. Uh, uh, House of Birds. Uh, the, the fake owls are doing a really bad job of keeping them off. So there we are, a little lighthouse. And this must be Rosso we're in. So this is a uh, little township of Rosso. At the uh, northern tip of uh, Lake Rosso. And the police are here with their little boat. Check out the police boat in front of us. It's a fraction of the size we see on Lake Erie and Lake Ontario, but they all, they all seem to matter, right? And the kids are just riding the bikes off the pier, off the jetty and into the water. Oh my God. It's actually a nice little beach for people to come up along every day up. Like an ice cream truck down there. There behind me. The OPB. Well, there isn't much in Rosso. I think it's Port Carling for sure. Because there's nothing here. What is that? I've got to check that out. What is that? Um, I don't know what that is. It's a pontoon boat with... Is it a floating sauna? I think it's a sauna. Is that a sauna on a boat? Yes. It does look like it, doesn't it? Well, I never. It's got benches inside it, so I presume uh, you come on in, the door's on the other side, and you sit out here and have a sauna on the lake. That's different. <laughs> Fresh? Quite nice. Quite nice. So Joe decided to go for a swim, and why not? It's uh, nice and refreshing, he says. <laughs> Look at that, an Englishman in the water with sandals on. Well, I never. <laughs> Show us your sandals, boy. Where's my socks? Oh, you took your socks off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're just like your granddad. <laughs> so English. Sandals and a swim. So English there, Woody. Sandals and a swim. <laughs> Pull the step down. There's a step at the back. Pull the step down and put yourself up on that, somehow, and grab hold of the seat. There you go. Bob a job. There you go, you made it. Sweet. Right, onwards we go. Jack Sparrow's behind me! Ah! 
of 100, 150 feet. It's kind of neat. Uh, okay, half a bathing suit maybe? Half an arse back. It looks like the person's naked until they turn around and it's black. Oh, you can hear us talking. <laughs> I'm not naked, you bloody buggers. He lives in that shed because there's no house there. Oh my God, what the hell is he wearing? That was just weird. All right, we're back at Port Carling. A lot more boats out now than there was when we came up two hours ago. And now we just have to figure out how to, uh, how the organization goes for getting into the lock here. It's, it's very, it's very easy. Tell you what, put your foot in the water and grab hold of it, see what happens. Woody, have a grab hold of this, will you? Yeah, let Woody do it. <laughs> oh, it's not, it's not, oh, it's got to be plugged in somewhere. No, we're trying to execute him. <laughs> Listen to that engine. What's this place called again? Port Carling. Port Carling, that was it. Yeah. Brain fart. Port Carling, we're in Port Carling. And uh, we're just tied up by turtle jacks. Uh, just hooking the skis up. Uh, docking's at a premium right now. You can see these people trying to get in everywhere. So uh, it looks like there's a bit of a lineup to get into turtle, turtle jacks as well. So all I want is a nice cold beer for now. Save the games till I get home, but a nice cold beer keep us going. No comment. <laughs> Fourteen dollars for chips. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't really do this, but uh Times are hard, we're broke. We're not rich people from Toronto. So, um, $18, $18.95 for some turtle wings. To give you a perspective of the size of your wing, that is it. So, we have shareables, so we have to share a half a carrot. So it's three carrots and two celery. We have to share that carrot though, okay? Blue cheese, no one eats blue cheese, it's disgusting. Hey. Uh, you like blue cheese? Yes. Fucking hell, you can have it then. That's, that's, that's rank and sweet. Potato fries, we have no idea how much they cost, but a beer's ten dollars. Gonna go home and remortgage the house. All right, a little bite to eat, a little expensive, but it was all right. The food was pretty good, just a little pricey. And again, you are in the middle of nowhere, so what do you expect? So, anyway, get the sea dues up and going again, and head back down to Gravenhurst and pack them up and uh, hit the road before it gets too late.
lot busier now than it was when we came up. Shallow water, three feet. Four feet, kicking up some mud. He's kicking up mud. Oh, do you? A pod of sea -doos. <laughs> there we go, on both sides. I can say about this ride, it was very uncomfortable. Uh, a lot of traffic on Lake Muskoka this afternoon. The morning stand up alright, but the afternoon there's just so much wake confronting so many different directions. It's actually quite uncomfortable to ride sometimes. Um, yeah, so it's, you can't just relax and just enjoy the ride. Constantly having to hold on or move out of the way, like more wake. Here is actually a lot calmer than this to ride, even on a bad day. It's a giant tree. An old pine tree. Look at that. Check it out. Check out the old pine tree there. Just grow. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize there's a moose there too. A nook chuck. Yeah, a moose, a nook chuck, and a pine tree. How Canadian is that? And a partridge in a pear tree. Looks like a bloody roller coaster coming down that one over there. Let's get a bit closer to it. Yeah, pendicular, that's it. That is pretty cool. It's one way of getting your luggage up there. But what is this? No, no, the electricity goes out. I don't know. Oh, you take the emergency stairs. That is cool. I never got it on camera, but I finally got Woody. He's absolutely drenched. Absolutely drenched. He was just sat there talking to the two of them. So I just crept up. And just as I got to him, I put the throttle right down and turned it. Completely soaked him. Look. Oh, <laughs> that was fun. There is so much water on this side. I see you leaning over. <laughs> that was good. I enjoyed that. Uh, Woody just alerted me that around the bend here somewhere, there's a couple of big ferries. So it's going to go and check them out before we head back in. Somewhere around here, he says. Look at that! Look 
should find Woody. Oh, it's a wedding. like a hut for a railway station. Gravenhurst. But there's no train, it's a boat. I mean, that's the second sailboat I've seen here all day. So this is a very um, non-environment, environmentally friendly lake, because everything is motor powered on this lake. I've only seen two yachts, and both of them are in use. Oh, a few kayaks, but everything is jet ski, power boat, pontoon boat, and more power boats. Which isn't really steam. I guess that's diesel engine, but it's meant to be a steamboat. Now, check that out. That looks like a railway station. You would have thought that it says tickets. It looks like a railway station, but it's actually not. Got a squeeze in there, that's cool. Yeah, that's neat, eh? <laughs> Watch your head. Ooh. <laughs> that is neat. All right, that is it for another ride. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Carl. Great Thanks, Kim. Day. Thanks, Woody. Thank you for Thanks, Joe. For Good ride. Yeah, it's a little choppy. Yeah, I thought that. You're right, there's a lot of wake out here, so you yeah, really feel it. So you, there's not many smooth bits out here at all. So, uh, yeah, and we've been in a shell, uh, such a narrow lake, you get a lot of bub, bub, bub. So it's, it, the waves aren't spaced out at all. It was a nice day out. I it was a nice day out overall, though. I enjoyed it. Yep. So anyway, i um, going to load up and get out of here and head back down towards Lake Erie. So until the next time, stay safe. See you all soon. Cheers. <laughs> Oh, pip pip, cheerio. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>